There is one advantage that quiet people have over those of us who like to hear the sounds of our own voices. Quiet people are good observers. This is a point that actor Lee Schreiber made in an interview about the title character he plays on Showtime's Ray Donovan. Speaking on Fresh Air, Schreiber said Donovan's character doesn't say much, instead spends his time taking things in. That is, he listens to what people tell him. Quiet leaders are people who value their own strengths, but also have the ability to see the world as others do for one simple reason. They listen. Knowing how other people think is essential to persuasion. So often people are accustomed to being talked at rather than listened to, so that when a leader looks at them and actually listens to what they have to say, and even asks some questions, people feel better about themselves and their abilities. Savvy leaders know that when they listen, they learn. And so the good ones spend time with people at every level, gaining different perspectives. Executives who live in a bubble surrounded by senior colleagues only receive information that's been filtered. Introversion does not negate the need for communication. Introverts I have known in leadership positions are adept communicators. They meet and mingle with others, including frontline employees and customers, to expose themselves to more realistic perspective on how things are going. Quiet leaders are effective communicators, in part because when they speak, other people listen. A leader of few words chooses them carefully, so people tend to pay close attention. Speaking less and listening more is a good exercise for any leader. It's an advantage that introverts may have, but it's a learned behavior that extroverts can make work to their own advantage.